Hello and welcome to this tutorial and uh, in today's tutorial we're gonna cover something about watercolor that is we're gonna draw some watercolor florals. The whole idea about doing something in watercolor is because this month's newsletter's topic is watercolor. If you haven't picked up my newsletter yet go sign up for it then you can get access to all my freebies and the past newsletters as well. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using some liquid watercolor. It's okay, you can use any kind of watercolor that you have. It's not specific that it has to be liquid watercolor. And you can also use something like pans if you want, or tubes, it's totally up to you. If you're not confident with any of these, you can also use watercolor pencils. Okay, so let's just get started. I have a jar of water, a tissue paper, and my good old liquid watercolors. I'll be taking my mop brush for some of these illustrations, but I will also switch in between other brushes which I showed in my newsletter. So you can use any of this as well. I'm going to generously take a color, maybe pink. Let's take pink. And I'm using a watercolor paper, which is like um, 200 GSM. And then I'm going to paint with it. So let's just paint. So this one, if you hold and point like this, it's it makes a really pointed edge, but if you hold it like this and then do it like this, then it makes a very a flat out structure. So I'm just going to dip water and do this whenever I feel like I need more water. So I can just put more water in my pan. Just make sure it has a lot of water and let's just do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a bit of my other brush, Raphael, and I want some color in here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is go and take, pick up some purple and just drop it in here. And let it slowly spread across. I'll go back to my pink and do few more of this. Don't worry if you mess it up a little, it's, it's watercolor so you can actually fix it to make it look much better later on. So I'll go back and take some of my purple and then Now I'm going to show you one more trick that you could do. You could either take a brush tip. I have a Raphael brush which has a pointed end. You can take anything which has a pointed end, even a toothpick, and draw things like this. Let's make a bud with the same color group that we have used. So I'm just going to go back, pick more water. You can see how watery my color is. So this is what we're aiming for. So there's a lot of color spread between so that this part looks darker when it dries, whereas this part looks much lighter when it dries. And that's exactly what we want. So let me make a couple of buds. And obviously, we're going to give it some purple. There's so many techniques that you can use in this step here. You could put some salt on it or, you know, use a wet sponge or something. Or, I mean, dry sponge to create textures on this watercolor. But we're going to make it very simple and not just, you know, do all those extra things. But for this, let's draw the petals because it's not very clear. Thank you. 
Let's make one more over here. Now we'll switch brushes, take a thinner brush, go pick up your greens. You can actually wait for your flowers to dry but and then create the leaves but there is a special kind of effect it creates when you actually don't wait for uh, the flowers to dry. You can see that here it kind of spreads. And sometimes it's nice to have that spread but if you're not the kind who likes this you can go ahead and wait for the flower to dry now it's time to make the leaves you can see I'm just pressing the I'll just go ahead and change my brush to something that I'm comfortable using. That is my pointed brush. The Escoda ones. These are pretty easy to use. And they have this really nice pointed edge. That's okay. These things are fine with watercolor because you can make it as abstract as you want. So this stroke that I'm showing you, it's basically a lot of practice. If you don't get it at the first shot, you can also draw leaf in a different way. That is just fill in by drawing a leaf and then fill that in. flowers are ready so we need some tiny elements to make this picture pop so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up my yellow any yellow is fine it could be lemon yellow or any other yellow is fine as well so just pick up some yellow and let's just drop in some dots It should come to the shape of a cone in the end like this so it's kind of a cone here and it's a kind of a cone here let's do a bit here as well oh no I smashed my hand on it so make sure you don't touch these pots 
because you know they are still wet. Now we can go ahead and pick up some brown. Since I don't have brown on this palette, I'm just going to pick up some really dark red, which looks like brown actually. And now we're gonna put this in here. So for this, I've taken a very sharp pointed brush. So the whole point of getting a flat is making your brush at a slant angle. If you want it to be pointed, it's more like this. So you can't make a straight thin line like this. You could if you are very careful, but it's much harder. So always use the top part to get the hanger. Usually I wait for this step, but today since I'm recording this, I cannot do that. And sometimes in watercolor, it's good to not draw, you know, complete straight lines. It's always nice to have some broken lines because they kind of add... Um, how do you call it, extra elements to your floor. I hope you like this tutorial. Let me know if you want to see more such tutorials. Bye.